Hello, back to be back for you again for another video. Thank God, back by the grace of God. Thanking God for another day. Thank you, Lord, the sun is out shining. Praise God. So I'm going to go right into the Word of God with you. And then I'll give you the scripture we'll be talking about in just a minute. Heavenly Father, thank you how you have blessed us and kept us from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger and woke us up this morning in our right mind. Thank you, Jesus, for all the things that you do for us. Thank you for life, health, and strength, food, shelter, and clothes. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making ways out of no way for us each and every day. Come without your help, we weren't able to be able to go or do anything, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your guidance, your love, when we're saved and when we're not saved, how you look out for us and help us go through things that could have destroyed us, but you didn't let it destroy us because of your love and your kind and your mercy upon all of us in the world. Praise God. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for your praying for us, saved and unsaved. Thank you for your unconditional love that you shed it on the cross for us by giving up your life for us. Praise God that we have a right to live in that new heaven and new earth with you one day, Lord Jesus. But while we're in this earth, you gave us a, sta a, a task to do. I should say a, a work to do for the Lord. Amen. That God wants us to work for him. He wants us to be the ones to tell you to, with his help, to redeem that have been redeemed from their sins and forgiven of their sins and have accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, that they'll be the one to tell you about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because we come out of sin, just like everybody else. We were born this world and shaped in iniquity. We were sinners. We did, we did wrong. We thought wrong. But the mercy of God and by believing in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross and realized that we needed it to be done. And if you look around this world, all these things that's gone in this world, you realize that we thank we needed God, the Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And thank you for not giving up on us, that he made a way for us. And he still look out for us. He still help us to go along this Christian journey, those that have believed in him. And he given all those that don't believe in him, giving them a chance to before it's too late. God is good and he is merciful to us all. Thank you for that unconditional love. You didn't have to do anything for him to save you. You didn't have to do anything. Uh, out of the will of just believing in him and know that he did these things for you. He said, if you believe that I did this on the cross because of you to save you from out of the hands of the enemy, Satan, and out of the body, in this body, but a sinful body, but give you the Holy Spirit so you can live in this sinful body until your time upon this earth is finished. You can, you truly, we can be welcome into his kingdom. Well, we got to endure to the end all the way with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We just can't stop. And go and stop, go and stop, because we don't know what day will be our last day upon this earth. But we just thank God for his mercy and kindness, and thank God for giving, making a way out of no way for us. If, if it wasn't for him, we just couldn't make it. We need him. I don't know about you, but I find in my life that I need the Lord Jesus each and every day of my life. He's good. He's mercy because all, saved and unsaved, because we weren't all saved. Those are redeemed from their sins that by believing in the Lord and saved Jesus Christ. We all was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And you hear me say that many a times. Not knowing nobody, no better than nobody else. And your sin might have been greater than others or less. Still, it was sin. It was wrong. He will not get us in heaven living in a sinful condition. We've got to be and we must be born again. And you heard me say that many times. By believing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because he loves us. He's free. You don't have to pay for it. All you got to do is just believe. Praise God. We believe in so many things. Praise the Lord. Amen. That ain't even right. And we believe in, if I not believe that somebody died for our sins and saved us, and all we got to do is believe that he did it. And we can be saved and see the baptism of the Holy Spirit too. And you see these things going on in the world. We could be just like that now. We, and all those that have accepted the Lord and Savior, Jesus as their present and Savior, we will be just like they're doing in the world now. We'd be doing things sinful and just don't care and, and don't nothing, you know. You don't even care about your own life or anything. But God changes all of that when he comes to our heart. Our life becomes value and other people's lives become value for, for, to us where we didn't care. Before, now we care. Now we love you. Now we don't want to see you lost. And hey, praise God, amen. We want to share that love of God to you as God has shared it with us. Praise the Lord. He is the answer of all your problems and troubles. You can go to him in your, you know, in your heart and talk to him. And, and he already knows what's going on. He just wants you to just... Talk to him like you were talking to somebody you looking at because that's how real he is. Jesus loves us and he loves us all. And God created us all. We are his people. We are his creation. We belong to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for the cross for all of us, Lord. Continue to touch, save, heal, and live, Lord. Continue to have mercy on the little children in school, out of school, in the home, out of the home, wherever they may be. Lord, try to be mercy for everybody. Save and unsaved people, Lord. Jesus, continue to have mercy on us all, because all of us need to save, or whether we save or not, we need you, Jesus. 
All these blessings, thanks to Acts in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're going to be talking about love. Praise God. Amen. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13, chapter this from the King James Virgin. Amen. Praise God. Amen. What, well, what is the meaning? Uh, what is the main message? What is the main message in uh, 1 Corinthians 13, chapter that Paul was telling us about? And Paul has summoned it, summoned it up for us and made it easier for us to understand what he was saying. Praise God. That uh, we just want to read it like it was, and that's like that. Is each verse have an understanding behind it. So we're gonna go the way Paul had broken down for us. He told us, he said, uh, "Love never fails. Christians may fall, fall, fall to fail." I'm sorry. He said, uh, "Christians never fail." That's what I'm trying to say. Christians may fall, or uh, they might fail to love, as the Corinthians have clearly, clearly demonstrated. But God, no, but God kind of love will always be effective. God kind of love will always be effective. He won't fail. God kind of love, not the worldly kind of love where we want to give and do things for people for they can do for us and got some reason behind we are doing something for them. But God love is free. He don't ask you to give up nothing but just to believe in him and depend on him. And he'll help you through your trials and tribulations, your ups and downs. He understands what's in our heart when nobody else do, praise the Lord. And he said his love never fails. Amen, praise God. And thank the Lord for that. And unlike the uh, spiritual gifts, praise the Lord. Not like spiritual gifts. We can have spiritual gifts, but if we don't have love, it don't mean anything. I don't care what kind of a great preacher you are. If you don't have the love of God in your heart, it don't mean nothing, praise the Lord, in the sight of the Lord. People don't know your heart. They hear what you're saying, but they can't see what's in your heart like God can see what's in, what's in our heart and in our mind. He know whether we have his love in us or not. He know whether we're doing it for a good reason that concerned about the souls and really want to see them saved and serving the Lord so they can go in that new heaven and new earth. Or we just out there talking for the gain of our own and what we can get out of it, praise the Lord. But we're going to have to give accounts for our sins. We haven't done these things uh, for the Lord and from our heart, really, really being concerned about people. Praise God. We're going to have to pay for those sins. And we will not be able to go into that new heaven and new earth living like that. We got to be as an example as Jesus was. Jesus loved us the hard times and the bad times. Unconditional love. Praise God. No, we wasn't. No, a lot of us wasn't going to accept him. And some of them gonna, people is never going to accept him. But he died for everybody. He still died for everybody. That anybody and anybody can have a right to the tree of life. What I'm trying to say is to that new heaven and new earth. He would turn nobody around. But we got to ask for forgiveness of our sins and realize that we are sinners. We need to be saved. But once you come to the Lord, you drop away from those sins. We are called children of God. We are called believers. We are called uh, the ones that have been chosen to do the works of the Lord because of our faith in, in Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. So we're just so glad about that. And the only way we can be a sin again is we stop following Christ, stop obeying him, and we go back as our backslide. And that's not good because uh, if we don't sooner or later make up our mind do we want to serve the Lord or not, he'll just let us go. He won't make us. He won't force us, praise God, because God's love is real. And his love never fails. And he wants us to have his spirit in us. So when we talk and when we speak and when we say something to somebody, it is from our heart. And we're really concerned about them. We really don't want to see them lost. We really want to see them get and go to that new heaven and new earth. And it goes for us ourselves. We got to live what we tell others, praise God, through the, through the spirit of God. So Paul was breaking it down to us, letting us know God's love never fails. Uh, everybody else's love that is not of God will fail. But God's love will never fail. Fail, praise the Lord. He said, God love is effective. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, not unlike spiritual gifts. And we're in, you know, as a spiritual gifts, ain't nothing wrong with that. But one thing, when our time is ended to this world, our spiritual gifts stop. It don't go no further. Because they don't need to be in heaven. God don't need ministers and teachers and preachers and prophecies and all those kind of peoples and uh, telling people how they got to live and believe in the Lord and save Jesus Christ, what I'm trying to say, that is not needed in the new heaven and the earth. It's only needed down here in this world, praise God. God uses us here, but once we, our day, uh, whatever hour or year, whatever it is that God say, I'm finished, call you home to rest, then uh, that I would, that ministry that we have would stop. But that, if the world haven't come to an end, there'd be others be coming up with the ministry, telling you about what does say the Lord. And love is the thing. If you can't, you can't do nothing for God if you don't have the love of God in your heart. I mean, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I know love that we have made up for a reason. Praise the Lord. It's a shame, but God's going to take care of all those things that we are 
telling people things that's not right, praise God. We are letting, leading to believe things that's not right. And God is not pleased with us with that. I want to be right. I want to tell you, do the help of the Lord, what God tell me to tell you. And God let us know we got to have the love that comes through his Holy Spirit. Otherwise, our love will fail. We can talk a good talk, but we won't be able to fulfill what we are saying. But through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, everything that Jesus said for us to do, if we do it and believe it and depend on him and lean on him, he will come true in our life. It truly have come true in my life. I know what I was and know what I am today by the change and believing in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that goes for everybody. They, get, they got to tell you, the, the believer got to tell you a story of freedom, of, of, of deliverance that comes to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Otherwise, they did see no hope. They didn't think they were going to ever be a deliverer out of situations. Some people have sickness and pains and things. They think it ain't going to never be healed. And all of a sudden, it's a miraculous miracle happening. God will heal them. And sometimes we have sick and sickness. Sickness unto death, but as long as you keep your faith in God and believe it in Him, everything gonna be okay. Cause we ain't gonna we ain't here to stay forever. Whether you say but not, we're not gonna be here forever. Praise the Lord, but why are we here and we want to believe in the Lord and say with Jesus have a good report that we was good. We did what God told us to be. We was born again believers. We told the truth and amen to those that were listening. Those that didn't listen, we prayed for them. Thank God for somebody praying for us before we come to believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But God let us know his love is, 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 it is effective. It is effective. It, it don't fail. He will, when everything else has failed, God's love will not fail. Amen. So we want to go on with the Lord's love and be led and take the example. Uh, be led by the Spirit of the Lord, what I'm trying to say, and take the example of what Jesus did and the love that he shown us, unconditional love. He didn't ask for anything. All he said, just believe in me. And he left that a free will for each and every one. Praise God. Amen. Say, when we no longer be needed, when, when we no longer be needed, Christ, when Christ come, love will last for love will last forever. Praise the Lord. That means love that we have, what I'm trying to say in this earth, earth here, will go with us when we leave and go to heaven. Here to let love will last forever. What I'm trying to say is love will never fail. The love of God will never fail. If we carry and believe in it all the way to the end of our life, it, it will never fail. And Paul was telling us that's why he was striving. Paul, was, for Paul had been describing our knowledge of God and his ways and in completely partially. Amen. Using this, use the use of spiritual gifts, especially, especially gifts such as Tom's prophecy and knowledge given on it. Uh, as as what as of and what may be known of God, these things have to become from God and known from God, not something that we have made up ourselves to do, and 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 it have nothing to do with God. People can make up tongues, they can make up all kinds of things, but we have to go by what the Lord said in the Scripture, believe it, and keep on keeping on with that. But the love is the thing. We can have faith, we can have hope, but we get love is the greatest. He said, for and Jesus told us to love the Lord. Our God with our whole heart, mind, soul, and body. Praise God. Amen. And if we can't do it, we ask him, Lord, help me to love you the way you told us to love you in the Bible for my heart. Please, God, help us because we can't do it ourselves. Only God can change the hearts and minds of people. We can't. We can only say the words, but it's up to us whether we believe the words or not. Praise the Lord. Uh, to preserve our relationship, we must offer pass through many difficulties and hardship and, and God give us the gifts of love to see us through. Praise the Lord. If we love the Lord through our trials and our tribulations, we'll be able to go through it. We'll be able to go through it with the help of the Lord. But the greatest love that we can have is loving the Lord, our God, with all our soul, mind, strength, and body. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. For the greatest love, all is a love that sacrifices all. And we know just what Jesus did. He sacrificed his life for us in order to save us. God is a good God. He loves us. And let us turn to him for help. And he will help us to get through whatever we have to get through. And man, there's nothing wrong with talking to people, sharing things with, the, with people. Praise God. And, 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 and asking him to pray for you. Praise God. And something is just between you and the Lord. And leave him to God and he'll fix it. And he'll, he'll come out and open in your life. And you say, thank you, God. I know you did it because didn't nobody know what was going on with you. And I know many times I had that experience. I said, Lord, Jesus, and then he'll say something through somebody else, give you confirmation that don't even know you. Or you might hear a preacher say it and say, Thank you, Lord, I heard you. Amen. Then you you let me know that you heard me. God, what I'm saying is God let us know 
that he heard us. Praise God. Amen. So I pray God continue to bless you. And I thank God. By the grace of God, I'm back again. And hope by the grace of God, I'll be back again with the word of God to you. To help you to be strong in the Lord. And if not, uh, not, not say not be strong in the Lord. Or maybe you might be. But it will help you to believe in God too. If you don't, don't already believe in God. Remember, God loves you. He has unconditional love for us all. And pray God continue to bless you. And keep you and your family. And I pray God have mercy on everybody in the whole world. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen.